Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today, this is episode 2 of my breakfast series, Day of Dining, where I prepare, cook, and eat Filipino food during my days off. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day everyone. So today, this is episode 2 of Day of Dining where I'm gonna have another round of breakfast with another Vian. As you watch in the previous video, we focus on hot dogs and beef tapa. And today, we are going to feature another breakfast Vian, which is Tocino or cured sweetened pork. So after preparing my coffee and the usual side dishes, let's get this Tocino cooking. Pork Tocino means bacon in Spanish. Pork belly or pork fat back was originally used, cured, salted, and marinated with seasonings, salt, and spices. But today, pork shoulder is usually used as well. Although pork belly, pork fat back yields a fattier and more tender cut of meat. In the Philippines, tocino means cured and sweetened pork. And red food coloring is usually added as well to give it a more vibrant color. It is often a breakfast viand that is lightly fried in little oil and served with fried rice with sliced and diced tomatoes and onions on the side. Vinegar, fish paste is often used as a condiment as well. So I start off the cooking by uh, frying it with a little oil and cutting it into smaller pieces to make it more bite-sized and more manageable. Uh, the thing about Tocino is, since it is cured in uh, spices and especially sugar, you have to cook it at a very low fire and continuously mixing it in the pan so that the sugar won't get burnt. But hey, for me, I like to cook it with a little bit of toasting or burnt ends because that's where the fat and sugar caramelize themselves to add more flavor. So just keep on stirring them around the pan until you cook them the way you like them. And that's the toasted fat and sugar on the surface. One of the things that make Tocino delicious. So whenever I cook fried rice, I usually leave the oil or put it on the side for that oil to have more flavor when we start and cook our fried rice. So the process is basically the same from the previous video. Just add your rice and now make sure to break up all the clumps of the rice. Add some soy sauce. And this is while you're stir-frying the rice all over the pan and breaking up the clumps. Add some vegetables if you desire. This time it's frozen peas. And finally, add an egg. And this is the result. So fix your plate, add the rice, tocino, the egg, and put the sliced tomatoes and onions on the side. Now let's eat. The tocino is tender, sweet, and savory, but it leans more towards the sweet side because of its curing process and the sugar added to the tocino. So just put some tomatoes and onions and a piece of egg to your tocino to make it a complete bite.
and I was really hungry, so I had to eat. Since the sino leans more towards the sweet side, it is also best to add some vinegar to counteract some of that sweetness and is a perfect condiment to the sweet and savory pork. And since I'm Filipino, I also add some drops of fish paste to give it more flavor. And that's the caramelization of the fat and the sugar that I like. At this point, I think I was in my second plate already, so I was starting to get full. And that's a tender slice of pork right there. And this is the caramelization of the fat and the sugar on the surface that makes the sino really tasty and delicious. And that was a great breakfast indeed. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always, like, comment and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care.